Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Artifactory on Ubuntu using Docker. All right, so what is Artifactory? So Artifactory is you know, one of the popular binary repository manager out there. It is uh, purely open source. It's a Java based tool, which is used for you know storing artifacts and binaries and whatnot. Okay, if you look at my YouTube channel, we, we did set up Artifactory uh, using uh, Java and whatnot, right? So we downloaded, um, Java and then we configured Artifactory everything manually, right? But you can also set up Artifactory using Docker as well, which is more efficient way. Okay, so that's what we are going to learn in this video. Okay, awesome. So this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Okay, great. So guys, you know, if you look at the pre-request, yes, we are going to install Artifactory on Ubuntu EC2 instance, so we need to have at least uh, two GB RAM, okay, either T2 dot small or T2 dot medium, okay, and then we also need to open up port 8081 and then 802, 8082 as well, okay, great. And if you look at the steps, so I'm going to do a quick rundown. So we need to install a Docker, okay, and then we are going to download the Docker image, okay, and then we are going to create uh, a data directory, right, because you know we are going to uh, store the binaries right so we need to create a volume and then you know in order to create the volume we, we need some directory so we are going to create the directory and then assign uh, 1030 user which is a kind of artifactory uh, default user right to that folder okay and then we are going to run uh, this command in order to bring up the artifactory container right okay and then if you see here we are opening up both port right we are mapping 8081 and then 8082 as well and then finally, I'm going to create a, you know, a systemd file in order to run Artifactory as a service, okay? And then, yes, these are the commands, you know, in order to, you know, configure to run as a service, right? And then finally, we are going to access Artifactory on port 8081, right? So that's what, you know, we are going to do, okay? Great, guys. So let's get started. I'm going to quickly set up an EC2 instance, the Ubuntu EC2 instance, okay? And we are going to do on Ubuntu 18.04, okay. And then we need to have either tt.small or tt.medium. So let me go with the tt.medium, okay, and review on launch. And I'm going to open up 8081 and then 8082 port numbers. Okay, and then I'm going to open up 8082, okay. And launch, and finally I'm going to use one of my existing key, right. And then launch it. Okay, so we are connected to our EC2 instance. Let's start the installation. Though Docker is installed, let's make sure. Great, so this is our Docker version. And then I'm going to perform this command. Okay, so I want to add Ubuntu to the Docker group so that I can perform non root user command. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to uh, yeah, when you do that, it's good to log out and then log back again, you know, whenever you execute that command so that, you know, you can do that, right? Okay, and then I'm going to download the Docker image, okay, from Docker Hub. Our Docker image has been downloaded and you can see that here, right? So this is our image and this is the image size, okay? Perfect. Okay, create this directory and then, you know, assign or change the ownership, you know, for user at 1030 because that's the default artifactory user the reason why i'm doing this is in this particular step is right uh, we are going to uh, create a volume right in order to store binaries and whatnot okay so we are going to create a docker volume and then you know we are going to run uh, a docker command okay in order to spin up the artifactory container right from the docker image what we just downloaded and if you see here I'm mapping 8081 as well as 8082 port number, these two port number, as we have opened up these two port number, right? We need 8081, uh, that's the port number where Artifactory is exposing the REST APIs, and then 8082 mainly for accessing UI, okay? So we need to have these two port number open. If you do not open these two port number, you won't be able to access uh, Artifactory in the UI, okay? So we need to open up those two port number and then we are mapping it, right? So let's go ahead and then copy this command and then bring up the container, 
okay and then i am actually running in the detached mode okay so it is actually running in the background and you can verify that real quick so perform docker ps command see it is actually showing right and this is the container id and if you want to see the logs say docker logs and then you know perform the container ID, right okay so as you can see it is in the process of you know bringing up the uh, artifactory right uh, while it is doing it why don't we go ahead and then configure artifactory to run as a service let's configure uh, a systemd file right so i'm going to go and configure or uh, sorry i'm going to go ahead and paste this command okay all right and then i'm going to reload the system ctl and i'm going to start the artifactory service okay and then you can also enable so that you know it's going to create that a service link right great and then you can check you know whether artifactory is running or not okay as you can see here artifactory is running so perfect so everything is good and let me uh, go and check my logs here right okay great see good now it says that artifactory is up and it's running on age rate one right now we should be able to access artifactory in the browser okay so let's go to the browser here and this is my dns name copy that and go to here and then mention and then say a081 right wow see here now artifactory is coming up wow fantastic right you see here that's our artifactory and then the default username is admin and then the password okay wow see here guys so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can set up artifactory using docker thank you for watching guys